What's up, Deckhead? So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my top 10 Decky Loader plugin. And I'm going to go from 10 to 1, 10 being my least favorite and 1 being my most favorite. So if that's something you guys were interested in, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So making it to the 10 spot is Other Flat Pack. And if you guys don't know what Other Flat Pack is, if you guys have flat packs that are in your desktop mode, you can come here and automatically update it. So as you can see here, these are the available updates for me. So instead of having to go to desktop mode to update your flat pack, you can just come here and hit other update and it should update it. So I'm really loving this. As you can see here, these are all of the flat packs that I have that needs to update. And you can come here and you can just manage things. So would highly recommend this one for you guys. So at number nine is wicked. one that I call music control. So the cool thing about music control, if you do have music playing in the background or movies like you've seen here on Netflix, if you have Spotify, you can Who's here to see Salt Goodman? You can pause the music track and you can also rewind or fast forward. So the beauty about this is that instead of you having to leave, your music, you can just use the plugin and get right into it and then just release and get back to it. So for instance, you can hit play here and then hit this out. It's good for small the guy, right? Did the video showcasing how you guys can that? actually uh, play music and game at the same time using Spotify. So again, this plugin comes in clutch for that. Now on the eighth spot is one that I call Decky Recorder. So the cool thing about Decky Recorder is if you want to record your Steam Deck screen, you can just come here and use that. So you can start recording and there's an update that lets you save clips. So you can just come here, hit start recording and it starts when you want to finish. Just open it back up and hit start recording and it should save in your video folder. I did a dedicated video showcasing how you can do this so you guys can see this well. So number seven is game theme music. Now I really love this because this reminds me of a console. So what this does is if you go to a game, it plays the music in the background. So if you open up a game, it plays the music of the game in the background as you read the description. So as you can see here with Cyberpunk, it's playing the Cyberpunk music of the game. And this just goes with any game. It's pretty cool. So as you can see here, so again, this is pretty neat and check that one out. So number six is HLTB for deck, meaning how long to beat. So with this plugin right here, you can see how long it takes you to actually complete a game. So for instance, if you open up Dead Space here, you see right there, you see right here, it says it takes 12 hours for the main story. So for instance, Hogwarts Legacy, it gives you all the information here as to how long it will take you to beat this game. So number fifth is one that I call quick lunch. And so I really like this because again, with this, you don't have to go to desktop mode in order to launch your flat packs. So for instance, you can come here, you can come to select app. You can go to flat packs here. And this brings all your flat pack that you download from the desktop mode. So again, you stay here at SteamOS and you can access your flat packs without having to go to desktop mode. So for instance, something like heroic lunch, if we hit lunch, it brings that up like you see right here. So this is pretty cool. Again, it saves you the hassle of having to go to desktop mode just to launch these flat packs. So at number four, we have ProtonDB badges and with ProtonDB badges, it gives you information as to like the status of a game verified being gold, as you can see in the top left here. So again, it's a good way to know just how well some of these games are going to perform on the Steam Deck as well so again you have proton db badges at number four so i have to say filling up this top three was really difficult and challenging but hopefully you guys will agree with me with this plugin so the third being storage cleaner now if you guys don't know what storage cleaner is it's a good way to clear your cache so for instance these are all of the games that are taking extra cache in my steam deck so i can come here i can click this and i can go down and i can delete this cache to free up some space. I can clear all my cache or I can clear selected cache. So I really, really love this. And again, it's a good way to just clear up all the cache that taking space that 
you guys might not even know about so my number two is steam grid db so with steam grid db if you have apps or games that don't have cover art this is a good way to get it without again having to mess with a lot of things so you come here and you can change your artwork and if you don't like the artwork of a game that you already have you can just come here and you can change your artwork so again, it gives you a capsule, it gives you the white capsule, it gives you the hero logo, it gives you the logo, it gives you the icon, and then you can come here and you can manage all of it. So it's a good way to change your cover art on the fly, and it's a good way to get cover arts for those apps or games that might not have cover art. All right, so number one, I'm going to give you guys a bonus. I'm actually putting two plugins here because these two plugins are plugins that I just cannot live without. So those plugins are Vibrant Deck and CS Loader. So, so we'll start with Vibrant Deck. If you guys don't know what Vibrant Deck is, it's a good way to bring some colors to your Steam Deck. So for instance, I have my saturation set at 130 here. This is what it looks like normal. I believe it's at, let's just say, I, I think it's at 80 or 100. But let's just go to 80 and showcase the difference here. So you see here, this is what it looks like at 80. And then watch what happens when I put it to 130, which I think is the sweet spot for this. But you'll see the colors pop out more. And I did a video showcasing this compared to Switch OLED. And it makes a significant difference when it comes to colors pop. It might be hard to see it right here, but trust me, guys, check out that video. I did it works and it works really really well so my next number one is one that i call cs loader and with cs loader it's a good way to bring themes to your steam deck and just to give you guys a heads up by putting too much on this it does kind of slow down your steam deck so going with caution i actually just wiped my whole steam deck the cs loader i believe is making it slow but just want to highlight this there's so much that you can choose from here. These are all the themes you can play with. I have a themes dedicated video. Check out that video. It gives you some highlight as to what you can do here. But man, you can just get this and install it. And it just completely changes your whole Steam Deck and customizes it. All right, so you come here, you install it. Check that out. So look at this completely just changes the look of your Steam Deck. Again, go into this one with caution because it does slow down your Steam Deck a little bit, but look how cool this looks. All right, Deckheads, just want to showcase my top 10 Decky Loader plugins. Let me know in the comments below. There are others that I did want to add here that I didn't. So if this video becomes something that you guys are interested in, I'll make a follow-up video, especially when they do add more Decky Loader plugins as well. All right, just want to highlight this. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.